great. So I'm excited to welcome the program, Nate Torrance of Zootopia. Again, uh, we'll go right back to saying quick questions really quickly. Basically, it must have been a whirlwind having this opportunity, right? You said the four year No, it has been. It. Yeah, no, it's it's been so cool and so amazing, and uh, especially like just even you know I I actually I have a little girl and uh, who's eight years old, and so um, kind of getting a little street cred with all of her friends and, and being uh, the voice of Clawhauser has been really cool. Oh, that must be awesome. So you know, you're going through that process. You said four years, so you're able to pitch to different people and different things, saying, "Hey, I'm going to be in." The t-. Were you able to tell people? When you were auditioning? No, and yeah, it was pretty much, it, yeah. yeah, it was under wraps for um, for quite a while. Also, not only just because of, you know, Disney asking us not to talk about it, but um, just because the, the, the actual story and plot really took a lot of changes. Um, um, uh, three years into it, they did a huge overhaul on the script. And they actually, it was such a big thing that they actually did a small documentary on, um, on the process that's on the the Blu-ray that's being released. Um, And just how my character was one of the few that actually, there were several characters that ended up being, you know, taken out of the story, and then mine was actually taken from Nick's side, who was the Foxes. I was his best friend, and they put me on Judy's side, and I became Judy's friend um, in the police department. So all of that to say, you kind of never knew if if you were still going to have the job. So I became pretty tight-lipped until I saw the the finished product. (laughs) Because you never knew. You never knew what was yeah. going to happen. Right? So, so the finish, it was up the, until, the finish, honestly, the cast screening of the movie, I didn't know, like, how many scenes I was in. Like, I'm like, okay, now I'm officially, I know I'm in it because they invited me. <laughs> but, but I didn't know. And then um, what was really awesome is then to slowly then, you know, start seeing action figures and plush toys and all of this merchandise um, come out of my character. Um, wow, what a trip. Oh, I, absolutely. And then when that happens, you're like, wow, we're, 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 how's my life going to change now from this, Nate? And then I guess it didn't, it didn't, it helped you right when it did now for auditions. So, hey, I, I'm Nate Torrance of Zootopia. Uh, you see me as this character. So tell us the character really quick again. June 7th is the release of Zootopia on Blu ray. Uh, but tell us specifically a little bit about your character. Yeah, yeah. So I play um, Officer Benjamin Clawhauser, and the um, the film starts off with this little bunny named Judy Hopps, whose dream in life has uh, been to become a police officer in the big city of Zootopia. And so um, she moves to Zootopia and realizes that a lot of people kind of actually don't um, like bunnies that much because they're not, you know, they're too small to be police officers, and all of the other police officers are predators. And uh, I'm one of the few people that kind of um, take her side and, and, and try to help her out. And in the midst of that, then you um, begin this huge journey on this crazy crime caper that the movie then takes a really big twist toward. Um, yeah, and then it has all these great morals to it um, that, that I think kids and parents really have, have, have enjoyed. And I think that's why it's had the global success that it has. Is, uh, it's really poignant. It's got a good message. It definitely has a good message, and people are so excited, and I'm sure now people that already have seen it in the theater or people that have not, they cannot wait to the release on June 7th, right? I'm sure you're hearing a lot yeah, of uh, exactly. people, that, people talking about that in chat and saying, I cannot wait to this, uh, uh, wait to the, the release of this for sure. And I'm sure you're talking about your 8 year olds excited too, right? For sure. Then yeah. Saying, hey, yeah. Friends, did you see it? You're, Let's watch it a couple more times with my dad, right? Exactly. Everyone gets to now experience it on their own televisions. It's so colorful. I'm excited. <laughs> it's funny. All these home theaters. You gotta gotta love it when a, when a good Blu-ray comes out. <laughs> right. I saw the I saw the uh, trailer to this when I was uh, going to see Star Wars. So that oh, so, so exactly. That, yeah. That so that's where you got your start. And like, holy cow, this is where the big push started. Let's just, let's launch it and put it in the trailers with Star Wars. Isn't that funny? I, it's so cool yeah. that you brought that up because I totally remember. Because I, I honestly didn't know. Um, we were um, we 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 went to you know like one of the for or me and my son went to a, a crazy late night screening of Star Wars, and that was like the icing on the cake that they showed Zootopia. <laughs> that was awesome. So you so you had no idea, and you're like, oh my gosh, and you're like, your mouth dropped, like, 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, what's really funny is I was, the honest truth is I was on a Disney cruise when that happened. And on on their cruise ships, they're allowed to show... Um, the movies that they have in release earlier. So it was this late night, midnight, whatever, we're in the middle. And I, I you know, I wasn't, uh, I'm in the middle of the ocean. I hadn't been taking calls or anything. And uh, yeah, I'm like, that's crazy. Zootopia's on here. And then I thought it was just for the cruise because I was there. And uh, lo and behold, it actually was everywhere. So really cool story to come home to. <laughs> So do you hope the projects, Nate, that come through, do you hope that now this opportunity doing this voice that leads to more stuff, who knows if there's going to be a second Zootopia, but meaning opportunities for you, you're like, wow, the, the world's your ocean, right? Now, oyster, now you're going <laughs> after it, right? There we go, yeah. I mean, especially on the animated side. I've been lucky enough to be working in the film and television side for a while, and although those worlds don't um, – connect too much as far as even with casting i will say with the animated it's been an amazing ride to feel like there's just a, a little notch or uh, on the ladder that you get to come up onto where you're getting a lot more calls specifically for for the next animated tv shows and and even more films but um but yeah but uh, you know honestly uh if Clawhauser was the only thing that came out of it that's probably the coolest thing <laughs> in the world to have an action figure and a stuffed animal uh I, I, I would say my work is done. I'm a happy guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know what's next for sure, Nate. Best place, first of all, people can pick up the Blu-ray starting tomorrow. Uh, best place to find information on you as well, Nate. Where can we go? Yeah, you know, actually, I'm pretty rogue on social media, but um, you can always uh, catch me on I'm actually working on a, a new television show that's uh, possibly going to be out in the um, late fall, early winter and um, and then you can catch me on Star vs. the Force of Evil on Disney XD. All right. Well, Nate, thanks for calling. Uh, best of luck to you, and I appreciate you taking the time. Hey, thanks so much for having me. All right, take care. You're listening to Total Celebrity Show. We'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> 